Today I'd like to show you a terrific image resizer for Windows, very simple to use, uh, great for when you want to make your photos smaller for putting on a website or sending as an email. It's called Image Resizer 3 and this is the website, uh, it's imageresizer.codeplex.com and to download it you just click on here, it's only 887k yep, it's ready to download, I'm saving it now I'll run it I agree to the terms and what's terrific about this program is it integrates with your uh, Windows Explorer and you just have to right click on any file and you can choose the file size that you wish it to be you know um, this will become very obvious once you see it in operation and I've got it downloaded okay setup was successful close this and now when I go to Explorer um, I've got an example here where I've got a file which is 3 megabytes I'm just going to make it smaller by right clicking on it and going resize pictures so I know I've got it on there twice It's the first time I've run it, so it may take a second or two to come up. Hope for you, <laughs> it's on its way. I'll just try that once more. there it is there and what it lets you do is very quickly uh, make sizes um, scales the picture down in size rather than compressing it as such it makes it either 800 by 54 by 480 even large comes down very you know a lot smaller so I'm just going to go with the large there and say resize I want to make sure that replace the originals is unticked which it is by default and it's put the description at the end saying large so it's gone from 3 megabyte down to 833 kilobytes which is a significant improvement on size. Um, if I was to go smaller, oops, I always go back to the original file. If I was to go smaller, say medium, quick resize mediums only 400k so let's have a look at what oh, I might as well do all three and do it as its smallest setting as well and that's 165k so what I'm going to do is open up each of these just by double clicking and we'll open up in the program that I use which is um, this one here okay so that's it at its very smallest size 
If I display it one for one, that's whoops, sorry. Displaying that one for one on the large, you can see how see how big it is. Display it one for one on the medium. It's this size. And displaying one for one on the small is that size. So if you were putting that on a on a web page, one for one would be fine because you're not going to really want to display it much bigger than the small size. And you know, if you're sending it to somebody they can read that oops sorry they can read that just as well when it's the small size compared to oh, go the wrong way again, go to the medium like medium there is a lot a lot clearer if you want to get it onto the full size and it's only 400k compared to 3 meg so okay in this circumstance I'd probably go with the medium size um, hopefully that's been of, of help to you uh, but just seeing how easy it is to you know if you were then going to be sending that as an email uh, just if I just open up a email browser say new email and if I attach that photo you know, the small or the medium, I said the medium would, would do. There it is, it's attached, it's uploading, it's only 400k. Much better than 3 meg. I could send someone multiple photos at that size uh, without any without any difficulties. So, that's the program. It's called Image Resizer, which is very simple naming it makes sense uh, it has documentation and so on but why you'd need it I don't I don't know um, you know it just shows you very simply it gives you a very simple way to right click on a file and choose a smaller size once again hope I've been of, of help to you that's the website and enjoy.